So in this book, we talk about these different superpowers and how the brain is revealing our sort of social nature. One of these superpowers that's kind of counterintuitive is our tendency to feel social pain, to feel bad when others reject us, exclude us, uh, end relationships with us. Uh, it, it's hard to imagine how that's a superpower, but it turns out that it's absolutely essential to our survival and success as a species. So um, we tend to think of the things that we need to survive as things like food, water, and shelter. But because we're mammals and we're born little babies, incapable of doing anything for ourselves, our need to connect with a caregiver and to have a caregiver who wants to connect with us is absolutely paramount. We would die without that. And so the social pain we feel when we're separated and not connected to other people comes out of this important point in our lives, but stays with us our entire lives. The research that we've done in my lab and in other labs has discovered that when we are socially rejected, when we feel social pain, the brain looks very much like it does when you feel actual physical pain. Um, so if you were to sort of feel a shock on your arm, there's this characteristic pattern in the brain that would be associated with you saying, ouch, that really bothers me. And that same pattern would come online when you were playing a game and two other people left you out of the game for no good reason. Uh, and it seems like a minor thing, but it would activate the same region. And here is the really surprising thing. If you take paracetamol, or in the US, what we call Tylenol, it makes these effects go away. It'll make the physical pain effects go away. That we know about. But we and others have found that it will make the social pain effects go away. The brain response will change. Our experience will change. And that's pretty surprising. But it speaks to how deeply wired this biological need for social connection is, that the brain really treats it as a kind of pain. And that pain is essential. It's a superpower because when we feel it, it motivates us to connect or reconnect with others. And it's sort of a motivational glue that makes us want to live, work, and play with those around us instead of keeping to ourselves. And that allows us to build all the great things, the building that we're in, the technology that allows this to be filmed right now. These are things that are magical because of our ability and tendency to come together. And social pain is at the root, actually, of, of quite a bit of that.